Coming up, we have a session on scholarships because uh, the Han um, gives you a, an opportunity to apply for different scholarships, either from uh, from the, the Netherlands mm -hmm. per se as a country or also as from the Han as an institution. Now, let's dive into the discussion together with Rebecca and Magda and to see what it's really like, for example, for a student, uh, from a student's perspective and also from uh, someone who has a lot of experience around the field as well. So, Rebecca, have you gotten a scholarship that's sponsoring your studies here? Yes, I have. Uh, currently, I have one scholarship here at Lahan. Uh, it was, again, very easy for me. I felt like the whole process was, in a way. <laughs> was it easy to receive it or the process was easy? Uh, both, actually. Oh. Both, actually. I got an email uh, saying that I was eligible for a scholarship. And so they asked for my CV and for me to make a video. Mm -hmm. And... I already had a CV ready from high school, so just, you know, I added all of my extracurricular activities at school, the awards that I have gotten, any uh, clubs or uh, things that I used to do. I also added, like, some, I used to do sports, so uh, I was an athlete, I added that too. Mm -hmm. You know, just added all, all everything there in my CV. And then I made my video. <laughs> I think that was the most fun part for me, because, uh, I got some of my friends to do it, like with me. Some of my friends who said it's cinema, like filmed me. It was very fun for me to do that. I really enjoy that process. And again, I would recommend, like, for people to ask for, you know, their friends, family, teachers to send in also recommendation videos mm -hmm. and stuff. They all took a part in my video, which I think oh. made it very good and very so fun. So applying for a scholarship can be a lot of fun as well. Yes, it, cannot, it can. It, it shouldn't can. be seen as a very boring uh, thing exactly. that you need to be doing necessarily. Okay, that's really good to hear. When did you actually receive this invitation email from the Han? Well, I received the email around, I think, March. Mm -hmm. And I handed it all in like around two weeks before the deadline. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, shouldn't have done that, <laughs> but um, I handed it in and then I got my reply. I actually was kind of impatient. I remember I, I emailed the uh, admissions like, oh, when can I get my reply? They were like, mm -hmm. oh, May 20. <laughs> right, okay. But yeah, yeah, I got my reply and thankfully I got it and it was, well, yeah, here we are. <laughs> So you got the happy mail. Yeah, I got oh, the happy wonderful. mail. wonderful. <laughs> and of course, I can assume that the Han receives tons of those videos with different uh, motivations from students to really receive the scholarship. Uh, what are you, Magda, what are you looking for when you watch these videos? What kind of aspects are you like trying to see that yeah. the student embodies? Well, like Rebecca already explains, mm -hmm. like not just academic aspects, but also what makes you stand out from other students? Um, what is your motivation for studying at home? What is your career perspective? What would you like to achieve in, in 10 years or five years from now? What would you like to do? Um, maybe also um, next to your studies, like extracurricular activities is very important that you highlight that if you have been involved in uh, in any of those. Um, really just uh, make sure that we get a good understanding of what you are like, what you're made of, really. Yeah. Um, so, like Rebecca said, um, it's always a good idea to have other people tell what kind of person you are, because then we get we see it and hear it from different perspectives. So that's a good good tip, I think, for uh, for, for students who are thinking about sending yeah. in their videos. Um, yeah, so that is what we what we look for all yeah. round uh, students, all round professional. Also, not just uh, uh, hard skills, but also soft skills are important to highlight. Yeah. Excellent S skills altogether. I feel. Think for the people at home watching, uh, definitely like take your notes. <laughs> um, but so we heard from Rebecca that for her it was extremely easy to get the scholarship. But yeah. like that, from your perspective, what are the chances of getting one? Um, it depends uh, per semester and sometimes per year. Um, mm -hmm. But I would say, roughly speaking, a thirty percent chance that you will get awarded the Han Holland scholarship. Um, provided that you do send in, of course, everything yeah. and that you are uh, awarded. So it's definitely worthwhile, also because it's quite a large amount of money that you yeah. will uh, receive. It's 12,500. Yeah. So that is worth, definitely worth it to, yeah. Uh, yeah. to spend some time on making your video, writing your motivational letter, getting your resume uh, in order mm -hmm. and send it in before the deadline. The deadline for sending it in is May 1st. Okay. And then we need three weeks, at least, or three weeks, to um, 
to come up with the final mm -hmm. decision and to yeah. send out the happy mails. Yeah. <laughs> Should you not um, get the, the, the scholarship from, from the Han? Uh, we also saw from the video that mm -hmm. there are other scholarships that are out there and available. Can you tell us a little more about yeah. them? Within Han, there's one other. If you do not get awarded the Han Holland Scholarship, then you can be awarded, if you are an excellent student, if you are in the top ranking of your study program, grade-wise, um, then there's a chance that you will win, be awarded the Han Honors Scholarship. Uh, but that it will be awarded to you in the second year, because first we need to see what kind of student you are and whether you really are uh, getting the high grades and showing, showing the great study progress. Um, this is something that you get awarded, so you will hear about it from your uh, study program coordinators. And uh, yeah, but you cannot have both. So if you already have been awarded the Han, uh, Holland Scholarship, then you cannot be awarded the Han Honors. Okay. Because they cannot, you cannot mix them. No, that's also good to, to keep in mind, uh, especially because I feel like a student prior to coming to the Netherlands maybe starts making some different financial considerations, yeah, sure. and then it's, it's important to know that you can either have one or the other. And you could also, because uh, these are just the two uh, scholarships that Han offers, but there are more out there. And there's a handy tool that you can use online. It's called Grand Finder. Okay. And I think they can put it, uh, the link in the chat to see if there are any other options for scholarships that are applicable mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good to yeah, hear. Yeah, also national scholarships. I, yeah. I applied to some, uh, like uh, from my own country, yeah. they okay. sponsor students to go to the Netherlands. So it's also like, could be good to check out like if your country offers sponsorships for, for you to go, mm -hmm. different programs, like it's definitely worth a while. How was your experience with that? Were you able to apply? Uh, I unfortunately wasn't able to apply because mm -hmm. uh, I was going through some personal stuff and I missed the deadline All for right, that. Yeah. yeah, but it's from what I saw, it's very easy, but there are a lot of applicants because yeah. uh, it's uh, for students not just going to Han, it's for students for everyone who's going to the Netherlands. So it's I a very imagine. big competition. Yeah. But I do know some people who have uh, gotten that scholarship because I mm -hmm. have some friends here in the Netherlands. I know some people got that scholarship. So it's, it's definitely doable. <laughs> yeah, it's always worthwhile. Trying. The try. Yeah, 100% couldn't agree more on that. So yeah, thank you for, for giving us that insight as well. So there is a lot out there. There are tools that you can utilize to find um, to find different uh, scholarship opportunities, and and there are maybe also some things that can already be in your home country, exactly. and you just need to be able to look for them in a way. Uh, so, um, are there just to yeah, kind of wrap up this session a little? Are there any? tips and tricks that you would advise students to consider when applying for a scholarship? <laughs> well, again, definitely mm -hmm. try getting recommendations from yes. other people. It's uh, always helpful because, again, people can see the type of person that you are. And again, it really motivates you to see how people think of you. Uh, try participating in a lot of extracurricular activities, uh, if it's at school, out of school time. And, you know, just try to add everything in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, doesn't matter if you don't think it's that big of a deal, you know, it counts for something, and I think it's worth a try. And yeah, just try to have fun while doing it. It can be stressful sometimes mm -hmm. if there's a lot of pressure from home or you know just from yourself. But just try to have fun and like make it make it fun for you. Because if you make it fun for you, then other people are gonna enjoy it too. Of course, I can mm -hmm. see that point. And from your perspective, Magda, yeah, something I think do you agree? It really shows if you're having fun and if you're putting your heart to mm -hmm. it, then it will come across. Uh, the screen for the assessors, yeah. So do take it seriously. Uh, uh, sit down for it, take your time, review it, let someone else see it before you send it in. Yeah. Maybe uh, do some do some extra editing and uh, yeah, just go for it. Yeah, and that also is quite in line because I did get a scholarship throughout my studies at Han uh, to go abroad actually to do my study abroad. Uh, and, and that it was exactly like the same type of process that I went through. I am a European student, so I couldn't get access to the, yeah. um, the, um, the types of scholarship that we have been talking about during the session. But there are other types of scholarships that can also come into place um, further on during the studies. For example, the Erasmus Scholarship or the Holland Scholarship, if you're doing your study abroad, for instance, outside the European Union. Um, and those 
tips and tricks also applied to me because I was super, like I really, really took my time when I did my application and my submission. And that was um, really what got me <laughs> the, the scholarship that I was looking for. So yeah, there are, those are like wonderful tricks, I would say, overall.